Spider-Man and the MCU are no more. A son of a bitch! Bond 25 gets an official title. And some casting rumors on the new Batman movie. Let's talk about it. If you're a Spider-Man fan and you are happy with Tom Holland and what the MCU has done with Spider-Man, well, forget about it. It doesn't matter because the MCU and the Sony deal they had with Spider-Man is now over. According to a new report by Deadline, the two studios, Sony and Disney, had a standoff resulting in President Kevin Feige being removed from Spider-Man's future. Disney was eager to refinance the deal with Sony Pictures that would give them 50-50 moving forward, but there was no deal to be had. Things apparently got ugly and that was it. Looks like the rights for Spider-Man are gonna go back to Sony 100%. I knew something like this was gonna happen. Back when I did my Venom review, in October 2018 when it came out in theaters. Because of Venom's success, now they're doing spin-off characters based on the Spider-Man world, his villains and everything, because they still have the rights to that. And Spider-Man is doing very well in the MCU. Far From Home just crossed a billion worldwide a couple of weeks ago, or I think a week ago. So I knew that with Venom being successful, Sony just wanted to keep that same deal they had and Disney was gonna want more. Because Disney is Disney. Fans are gonna be pissed off. You know, everyone loves well, at least most people love Tom Holland as Spider-Man. They love what the MCU was setting up for Spider-Man in the future. Now it's all gone. Forget it. Don't even think about it. And Sony, for all we know, is going to cast a whole new Spider-Man. It's going to be a whole new, probably new reboot. Who the hell knows? This is a mess. And it is just so disappointing that two studios cannot come to an agreement with this one character. So who knows what's going to happen with Spider-Man. I, I have no idea, but I honestly, I don't think it's going to be good. I have a bad, bad feeling about it. It was announced on Twitter today that Daniel Craig will return as James Bond, and the new title for the movie is going to be No Time to Die, coming out on April 2020. I know 007 fans are really looking forward to this one because this is going to be the last time Daniel Craig will play James Bond. But have no fear, because the next actor replacing Daniel Craig as the new James Bond will be English actor Rowan Atkinson, better known as playing Mr. Bean and Johnny English. What? He's British. So some casting rumors have been circulating online as to the casting of the new Batman movie directed by Matt Reeves and starring Robert Pattinson as the new Batman. Now remember, nothing is concrete. This is all just rumors and speculation for now, but Vanessa Kirby, the actress who is in Mission Impossible Fallout and the new movie Hobbs and Shaw, looks like she's front runner to play Selena Kyle, AKA Catwoman. And Pierce Brosnan is rumored to play Alfred, Bruce Wayne's butler. Now the Vanessa Kirby rumor is interesting because I just saw Hobbs and Shaw about a week ago, and that was my favorite movie of the summer. Liar! Okay, I didn't like it, but I did like her, and I can easily see her playing uh, Catwoman. I think she's a fine fit. I like that she's basically an up-and-coming actress, no one really knows that much about her, so I think that's actually perfect, and I think she will do well in that role. Pierce Brosnan, on the other hand, as Alfred, I'm not so sure about. It's not awful. The thing is, I grew up watching Pierce Brosnan as James Bond, 007. I mean, he was my favorite because that's the one I remember the most. And I just don't see him playing Alfred. What, no small talk? No chit-chat? That's the trouble with the world today. No one takes the time to do a really sinister interrogation anymore. Even though he is, you know, he's older now, but he, he looks... I don't know, what's the word I'm looking for? He looks too suave, you know what I mean? I, I just don't buy him being Bruce Wayne's butler, you know? I, I would automatically look at him and think, yeah, this guy knows some shit. Yeah, he's done something before, he has some background. He just, he looks too obvious. I just think he would stick out. And Alfred's the type of role that you kind of blend in. And he just looks, 
I don't know. I think he looks too cool for the role, if that makes any sense. But that's just my opinion. I I'm pretty sure if he was cast as Alfred, he would do fine. Are you happy with the new James Bond title? Are you excited for the new movie? What do you think of the rumors so far surrounding the new Batman movie as far as the casting? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Let me know in the comment section. And if you like this video, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I will be back.